Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Friday. I'm getting some chicken strips in the oven. It's just me, Jonah, Cece, and Manly here this evening. Titus and Jacob and Tyler aren't going to be back until a little bit later. So they're just going to grab them something to eat. We have leftover pizza here. And I really want, I can't decide if I want a chicken strip sandwich or a chicken strip salad. Titus had some errands to run this evening. And I think he was going near one of the western stores that the boys like to go to. Dinosaur, yeah, yeah. What's the dinosaur look like? Which one are you looking for? Your triceratops? I think you left it in the bathroom. Okay, I'm making a salad. I'm just gonna use spinach instead of chopping up some lettuce and all. I'm just gonna go with spinach. I don't like the little pieces that get all mushy looking. Those aren't fun. Anybody else want some spinach? Cucumber. Something is very hilarious over there. Chicken. And I have some mozzarella cheese already shredded, so I'm gonna put some of that on here. I think that's it. Well, you know what? Peppers. Never mind, I'm all out of store bought ones, and the ones out there on my plants are too little, so we'll put red pepper flakes instead. There we go. Sleep. You may hear it going down in the background. A little Christmas sounding. Leave your guesses in the comments as to what movie it is. <laughs> if y'all ever see a feather on me, it's because I have a feather pillow. It's not from our chickens. And it's releasing its feathers. And so sometimes in the morning I wake up looking like a chicken. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and prep breakfast for tomorrow morning. So what I'm going to do is make some overnight breakfast enchiladas. That way in the morning, while everybody's up getting ready and all that kind of stuff, I can just stick these in the oven and they'll be ready in about 40 minutes. So here we go. First, we need to make the sausage. All right, we've got the sausage. I went ahead and got the cheese and a Waterloo. Late night cooking makes you thirsty. So this is really easy to prep. All we have to do is cook the sausage and then just put it all together. We, we have to shred the cheese too, but if you already had shredded cheese, that would be a plus. But yeah, besides cooking the sausage, everything else we just have to mix together and then assemble it all, cover it, stick it in the refrigerator. Has anybody guessed the movie yet? I know y'all have. I almost made some sausage balls the other day, y'all. I saw a video of somebody making some, and they said the same thing like that happens here is I usually only make the sausage balls at Christmas time. Every now and then I might make them, and it definitely feels like Christmas when we make them since it's something we only make at that time of the year. But yeah, when I saw that video, I almost got the sausage out, but it was frozen and then it ended there. <laughs> And I did not get a big enough bowl for all this cheese. Uh, well, I only need to shred half of it for this first part anyway. And then the other half goes on top at the end. So once we empty this bowl out, then we'll shred the rest of it. Titus and Tyler fell asleep on the couch over there. They were the last two awake in here with me. 
And now they've fallen asleep. If they start smelling the sausage, they're going to think it's morning time. While the sausage is finishing up, we're going to go ahead and mix the other ingredients that we're going to need. First, we need six eggs. Okay, we'll go ahead and whisk these up. Oh, there's Jonas. I thought you were asleep. All right, the next thing we need is two cups of half and half. I don't have any half and half, but I do have heavy cream and milk. So we're gonna do one cup of heavy cream, one cup of milk, boom, half and half. There you go, John. He's putting in the heavy cream first. And then we'll do the milk. A tablespoon of all-purpose flour and just a pinch of salt. Okay. We'll set this over to the side. Now we're gonna mix the sausage with this half of the cheese block. Now we get the tortilla shells and a 9 by 13 casserole dish. We give it a little spray and now we assemble. I think I can fit about 10 in here. We'll see if we can get 10. I was close, we got nine. We pour over the egg mixture. Now we put the rest of the cheese on the top and then we're just gonna cover this with foil and it goes in the refrigerator. In the morning, we'll take it out of the refrigerator while the oven's preheating to 350 and then we'll cook it covered for 30 minutes and then uncover it and let it cook for about 10 to 15 more minutes. this can of oh it's over here green chilies <laughs> I'm not gonna put this over all of them I'm just gonna have this sitting over to the side for like a topping if anybody wants to put it on theirs also I'm probably gonna put some red pepper flakes on mine we've got about five more minutes I'm gonna put together a little fruit salad real quick this is pretty much just a little mixed fruit bowl. The actual fruit salad, the way we make it, or the way my mama made it, is we add, ooh, lost the apple. We add mayonnaise, peanuts, which I do have some peanuts. Mayonnaise, peanuts, grapes, and mini marshmallows. That's the way my mama made it around the holidays and stuff. Oh, there's the enchiladas. Now I'm just gonna squeeze over a little bit of lemon juice just to keep the bananas and apples from turning brown too quick. That's it. 